Okay, right, good afternoon everybody. We'll get the last couple of phones in. We'll start with broadcast and then we'll have two sections today, one for the dailies and then one for the Sundays to preview Sunday's game. We'll start today's press conference with Paul Gilmore at Sky Sports News. Paul. Thank you. Hi Thomas. Hi. Do you have any fresh injury concerns and do you have Kovacic and Rudiger back for this game? No, for uh, for Sunday match not not back. Both of them not back, but uh, also no other injuries. I was going to ask you about the Stamford Bridge playing surface. You mentioned the other night. What are the reasons that it is in poor shape at the moment, and, and what are the solutions for you ahead of this game? I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a specialist on it, and and we're looking into highest level in every department, and I know that everybody is trying hard. Uh, I know, but I said it because the first goal was like the mistake from Andreas, but the, the mistake was because of a funny bounce of the ball, and we had more of them in in the game. It was like a bit, uh, it was a bit awkward to to play and to calculate the, the the speed and the bounce of the ball. And this one is clearly has a clear relationship, and um, well, it's like this. So. That that was it, but uh, it's. Uh, I know that everybody's working hard, and I know that everybody's working hard in every department, and uh, want to provide the best level. And so, uh, we try and keep on going. Any perceived problems with the pitch? It, it, is it related to the ongoing paper with it? At home? To no, 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 no. The demands are high. The demands are high from the manager. That's a bit the problem, and. Uh, and we were struggling a little bit with the uh, with the timing of the renewal this season, um, and uh, yeah, that 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 then this leads to a bit of the problem. So the pitch was in the beginning of the season, not not where it should be and where it could be, and we saw it and we felt it when we had away matches, and that's why it was a bit of a and and this one was now like I said a funny bounce and and given to the to the. Um, given to the to the quality of, of the pitch at this moment, and that cost us. On the takeover situation, um, what, what do you make of Lewis Hamilton and Serena Williams? <laughs> I just heard it. I just got a briefing and heard it that they are part of it. Well, I'm. I can m tell you not more than I'm a big admirer of both of them. They're fantastic sports personalities. Fantastic personalities on. The court on the racetrack and and off, uh, who take responsibility um, um, as, as 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 persons, as human beings, and and are outstanding uh, sport figures in 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 what they do, which is yeah, which for which they have our biggest and my biggest respect. But I have absolutely no insight into into the proceeding and then what role they play. So I would like to not comment. That might explain <laughs> something <laughs> regarding two days ago, but uh, <laughs> hopefully no influence for the West Ham game. And just a final one on the, the top four race. How do you call it at the moment? Do you feel secure in that third spot? We never feel secure. I never feel secure in Premier League. That's my personal feeling, and uh, I think it's uh, it's it's good. Um, I and I think nobody should never because uh, it's feeling secure does not keep you on the edge and feeling secure is just very very close and in thin line to to being lazy or not not being fully alert maybe maybe that's better because nobody's lazy but but not fully alert so no i never feel safe in in, in no part of the season and nobody should in premier league john southall five live Hi thomas i'm sure you've dissected the video from the arsenal game has your opinion changed at all on what well, we have. Uh, it's <sighs> you don't need to lose this match first of all. Not not with this kind of performance and uh, not how the match is running. Um, we have a uh, we have a bit of a I don't know a, a bad mix of indi big individual mistakes and a bit of lack of a uh, bit of lack of um, quality in the in the in the one and one defensive uh, attitude behavior in the box and around the box. We get punished for it heavily. I'm not so sure if I have an explanation why. 
the expected goals that we concede since the national break is a bit higher than normal, um, which is my responsibility to find, and which is, in my opinion, um, the responsibility of me. To, it's about tactics, it's about high pressing, deep pressing, how chances are created to keep the expected goals as low as possible. So this is a bit higher, not dramatically, but we conceded since the national break 12 goals which is the double amount of expected goals. So it, I think like, like most of the times in football, it's, it's a mix of, of bad luck. It's a big, big mix of, of circumstances, bad luck, and uh, the opponent making the very most of what we offer them. But it's also like it's, uh, it's a mix of, like I said, individual, big individual mistakes, and uh, we lack we lack the real determination and attitude in the one-on-one -on -one in the box at the moment to really keep maybe the, 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 the actual goals under the expected goals. So how difficult is it for a manager or frustrating? You can prepare your team during the week. And then is it fair to say you don't know which side's going to turn up at the moment? The one that was away from Real Madrid or the one that lost to Brentford? And, and yeah, strange. It was like you know very well it was like two matches after the national break which can sometimes happen for one match after the national break it happened to us two matches but then i i had the feeling and i thought and i still think that we had the turnaround already this match here is n I, I don't think even if the result is pretty similar it has not it, for me it has not the same similarities like the match against uh, real madrid and and brentford at home in terms of like that we were not disciplined enough or um, uh, with a ball or we did crazy and, and were dragged out of shape. Uh, the first half was a wild half, was a bit of an open half uh, where we like gave an unbelievable goal away uh, due to a, a personal mistake. So once again, like the amount of, of, of individual errors is too high. We, we should not talk around it and we cannot talk around it in in 22, I think we already have like eight, I, I looked into it, eight big mistakes that lead direct. I don't know, I don't know, I would, I would stop it if I, if I knew. And um, in, uh, oh, now I lost, now I lost, now no, I lost it. Um, so we have these kind of mistakes and where, where was I? I don't know, what was the topic? That was the interruption that actually oh, made me <laughs> made me lose my <laughs> that made me lose my <laughs> made me lose my argumentation. Last one, John. That, we, uh, that we could not compare it. Yeah, it, and it's it's a big it's a, it's awkward because like in in the first half it was an open game. In the second half, I think we controlled it. I think we we controlled the counter attacks better. We were a bit more um, alert to where to where control it. And I could not feel it, not feel it uh, in, in real time and not feel it like in, in when we analyze it, that there is a real danger in second half to lose the second half in the opposite. I, I thought we are like totally in charge. We control where we want to control. And then we have like two very, very awkward goals that is like, it's, uh, it's almost impossible to concede three goals like this in a match like this for, for the given the quality and the determination that we normally have. but. Obviously, it's it's in the moment a bit um, a bit a bit fragile, and uh, at in home games, and there's another home game coming, and we, we have the chance to do it better. Alex, Hi, Hi. I'm sure you're aware that Chelsea have played more games than any other side in Europe this season. Yeah. Fifty-five in all comps, and five have gone to extra time. Obviously, that takes its toll on the players. Yeah. What about the manager? It's not physical talent as with you, but is there an element of yeah, always, always. Uh, but I'm also used to it, always. And I think if, and I, I also reflect on how, what, what signals did we give? We only had two days in between, coming from Wembley, and from a very emotional game and a very emotional win to the next match. So like only two ga the game, uh, two days in between. And I, I felt very tired after after the Real Madrid and after the turnaround, Southampton away, Real Madrid away, and another away game in, in Wembley. It, it was tiring and I felt it. I asked myself, what signals did I give? Should I have pushed harder? Because we, we, yeah, we, we did what we were convinced about to do, but, but you feel it. Um, 
on an evening game, I think there's still enough time to, to, to prepare and to, to get into the right mood. And, and I have for myself, because you asked me, also developed a routine that you don't feel the same level of excitement in, uh, before every match. It's, it's for me personally impossible you do, you, and you should not expect it. And there's nothing wrong if you sometimes feel a bit like lower, lower, uh, lower level of excitement, lower level of tension. This is also normal, but it has nothing to do that you do it less serious or that you prepare uh, with less quality. And, and I don't want to get confused in, in, in these kind of thinking now because uh, we can trust ourselves and be prepared in the best way possible. And, and of course, we are asking ourselves, what is it? Because it, it came again from, from out of, of the blue, but it is a bit of a weird result giving how the game went a bit different like the Real Madrid game and the performance in it and, and the Brentford game for me. You just won on West Ham this week. Yeah. Unlucky to lose away there earlier in the season. But yeah. they're through to the Europa League. Was a final, big mistake. Fighting, <laughs> fighting for top four finish. What have you made of their season on a whole and also the job that David Moyes has done? Well, I think he's doing an incredible job and, and this is a very... It's a very popular club and a very emotional club and, and uh, a, a, a team together in the group with a coach which is enjoyable to watch like we follow the Euroleague games and we follow I follow a lot of their games because it's nice to watch because it's a full full investment physically the players are absolutely tired after their matches it's a very em emotional very physical squad very hard to break down very hard to 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 create chances very very dangerous in counter attacks and and set pieces so there's a lot to, to take care about and there's, there's a lot of physicality and a lot of a lot of commitment to to stand up uh, against them but full credit to them and will be a very tough one of course last question in the t tv section nick thomas um, if the premier league table was just home matches you'd be ninth and the away games you'd be second just two points behind man city um, mm. Do you have to sort of create the, that sort of fortress feeling of Stamford Bridge again? Obviously, I mean these numbers are are I didn't know that, but but it's it's obvious that we are like uh, behind, and it's very unusual, very unusual also for me in my experience over the over the last years. Not only here, it's it's unusual. I don't know what it is, and and yeah, we need to. If we if we had a solution, if we had the one thing, we would just like I don't know switch the dressing rooms and and <laughs> and uh, or, or like take another hotel or something like this but this would maybe be more superstition than anything else so uh, i have no solution but but it is obviously not the level that we want to uh, that we want to want to produce in in, in home games you want to be um obviously in, in, in so many games you have been the team that people hate playing against yeah um and but then there's been the odd or moment in home games hasn't there when Yeah, it's a bit fragile at the moment, I have to say. Um, we have the feel, yeah, it was against Brentford, it was against Real Madrid, and uh, was straight away better in, in the in the in the next three games. And now we had a good start and and uh, uh, to the match. Actually, I was very happy with the energy, the quality, and and. Uh, you know, it's a bit like, oh, no, not again. It's a feeling like, oh, not again. And, and if you once you have this feeling, it's hard to get rid of it again, because sometimes it's not even a problem tactically or it's not a problem in shape or sometimes it's due to pure, pure quality that you have to accept sometimes also from the opponent. But it's very hard to separate. Was this now to, to our mistake? Was this not enough? Or was it simply like very difficult to defend this chance? And and uh, yeah it, it can happen that a feeling yeah that, that takes uh, creeps in that that you don't want to have in a home game normally you want to have the home game no matter what happens we are still capable of coming back but um, the game now is 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 for me a bit different but very hard to argue because it's it seems like obvious that we have a row of three home games that are very similar results that we do absolutely don't like and um, yeah, it's it's now the the job to convince the players to keep on going, the supporters to to keep on pushing and to stay uh, to to hang in positive because we have a lot to build on. We have a lot to rely on. We have a lot to also to trust and and uh, don't get superstitious now and don't believe in things that maybe are not there. So, but uh, it's it's it, it is another challenge on top of it. Okay, that's it. Cameras off, please. The end of the broadcast section.